Good day Grade 11s. Welcome to this final lesson of week 28. We're going to finish this week off by doing a lesson on mixed examples of the simple and compound interest and depreciation that we've been learning about this week. So let's get started with our first example. It says, on the 1st of January 2007, the value of my get is 120,000 Rand. This car's value decreases on a reducing balance basis at 20% per annum. What will the value of the car be on the 1st of January 2015? So the first thing I'm going to do is write down the formula. So a is equal to P, because it's reducing balance, we know it's compound interest, but it's depreciation, so it's minus I all to the power of N. We know that P is 120,000, that was the value of the car on the 1st of January 2010. The interest I is 20, but we're getting it into a decimal, so we divide by 100, which gives us 0 0.2. Now we need to work out the number of years. So if we think about this, we've got the 1st of January 2010 goes to the 1st of January 2011, which goes to the 1st of January 2012, which goes to the 1st of January 2013, two more, which goes to the 1st of January 2014 and finally it goes to 1st of January 2015. So that is one, two, three, four, five years. So that is five years and that is pretty obvious because we just could have done 2015 minus 2010. The reason I've done this is because we're going to be introducing you to number lines later and I want you to get used to the idea of thinking about it like that. So N is just your five years, five years. So we can substitute into this equation. A is equal to P 1 minus i all to the power of n. p is your principal of 120, 1, 2, 3. 1 minus your interest, which is 0 0.2 all to the power of 5, which is going to be 120,000 times by 1 minus 0 0.2 is 0 0.8 all to the power of 5. So we get out our calculator and we clear it and we say, okay, fine. We've got 0 0.8 to the power of 5, which is equal to that. And then we times it by 120, 1, 2, 3, and we get 39,321 round and 60 cents. So we've got 39,321 round and 60 cents. So that's how much my gets will be valued after five years which is not very good. Cars really depreciate badly. Right, let's do another example. After four years, the value of the computer is halved. Assuming simple decay, what is the annual rate of depreciation? Ooh, okay, so let's think about this. First of all, we're talking about simple decay. So we've got A is equal to P, one minus I N. And we know that the number of years is four. But what about if I let the value after four years be x? I let a equal x. Then do you agree that originally your p was twice that, so it's two x? and we want to know what is i. What is i? So do you agree that we could say, okay, fine, 2x is equal to x times 1 minus i times by 4. Well, this works out nicely because do you see I can cancel my x's and then I just have 2 is equal to 1 minus 4i. If I take the 1 across, I get 1 is equal to minus 4i and if I divide by the i, I get i is going to be minus 1 over 4. So therefore my depreciation, my depreciation is going to be a quarter which is the same as what? It's the same as 25 
percent so that was my annual rate of depreciation not a bad example please understand therefore that if we know the ratio between a and p we don't actually need to know the numbers let's look at another example alfredo bought a washing machine at the beginning of 2010 for 3300 rand and he sold at the end of 2013 for 1800 now it says at what rate did the washing machine depreciate assuming compound depreciation so this time we've got a is equal to p times 1 minus i to the n we know that he bought it for 3300 so that's 3300 equals p we know that the amount that he managed to get for it was 1800 and assuming it was sold at cost price we want to know what the i was we want to know what i is but we know that he bought it at the beginning of 2010 so he bought it at the beginning of 2010 he sold it yes 2011 yes 2012 yes that was 2013 Yes, 2014, and just for fun, yes, 2015. And he bought at the beginning of 2010, but he sold it at the end of 2013. So he sold it not at the beginning of 2013, at the end. So the amount of years that it was depreciated for was one, two, three, four years. So n equals four. Right, so now we can use those numbers and substitute into here and find out what's going on. So we've got 1800 is equal to 3300 times by 1 minus i to the power of 4. So the first thing I'm going to do is divide both sides by 3300 to get just the bracket by itself. So I've got 1800 over 3300 is equal to 1 minus i to the power of 4. Now to get rid of the 4, what did we know? What do we need to do? Remember we've done this before. We need to times both this side by to the power of a quarter and then if we also take this to the power of a quarter because what you do to one side we do to the other side. So then this cancels with that, right? And then we have 1800 all over 3300 to the a quarter is equal to 1 minus i therefore 1800 over 3300 to the power of a quarter minus 1 is equal to minus i therefore do you agree that 1 minus 1800 over 3300 all to the power of a quarter is equal to i. Right, so now let's get out our calculator and see what we can get. First of all, let's do the bracket bit. So we're going to go 1800 divided by 3300 equals, and we're going to go to the power of 0.25, I don't know why I use a bracket, and that gives me 0.86. So we've got 1 minus 0.8686 is equal to i. So then we're going to go back to our calculator and we're going to subtract 1 and we're going to get 0 0.14. Therefore, i is 0 0.14, which is 14% per annum. So that is how much Alfredo's washing machine was depreciated. Right, grade 11, these are, bunch, these are a bunch of mixed examples. You need to go and practice more examples and then go do the assessment at the end of the section. Have a great day.